Welcome to Fraction Circles. In this lesson I'm learning to put fractions in order from the smallest to the largest. Well you can see over here I've got a circle and you know that if I put a line straight down through the middle I'm going to split that shape so that it is in, so it's been cut in half. And what I can do is I can pull that down there and next to it we can say that that is equal to a half. Now over here I've got another circle so let's let's cut this shape in half as well but this time let's cut each of these halves in half again. So it's going to look something like that. So you can see that I've now split this shape into quarters. Now just like last time I'm going to pull some of these pieces down. I'm going to pull down both of these quarters. So we'll pull this one down and we'll grab this other one down here as well. And you can see if I line them up they look exactly like what we've got over here. So I can record that like this. We have got two quarters and you can see that two quarters is exactly the same as a half. Now if we go down a little bit further you can see I've got another circle. Now just like we did in the first one I'm going to split this shape in half and then like we did in the second example I'm going to split those in half. So you know now that we've split this shape into quarters. But this time I'm going to split each of these quarters in half. So I can do a line down through here and a line down through there. So just like we've done in some of the other well, the other examples, I'm going to pull some of these pieces across. I'm going to pull across this eighth. That's my second eighth. My third eighth. And my fourth eighth. And they're called eighths because, because this circle was cut into eight pieces. So over here you can see that I have got four eighths and you can see that four eighths is exactly the same as two quarters which is exactly the same as one half. Now let's use this to help us answer a couple of questions. Um, I want to work out what's bigger. Is two quarters bigger or is three eighths bigger. So in your mind you need to think what does two quarters look like? Remember that circle when it was split into four pieces? And we said that two quarters was the same as one half. Now think about three eighths. How many eighths did it take to make a half? And you can actually see up here it was four. So three eighths is just less than a half and we know that two quarters is the same as a half so that means this one here is bigger than three eighths. Now let's try another question. This time I want to know what's bigger. Five quarters or three halves. Now looking at both of these you can see that they're both bigger than a whole because we know there's four quarters in a whole so five quarters is going to be a bit bigger than that and over here we know that two halves make up a whole so three halves is more than that. So think to yourself about how big a quarter is and also how big a half is and see if you can work out which one's going to be bigger. Well up here I've got some materials to help us. You can see here I've got the quarters and over to the right I've got some halves. Well the question says one of my groups has got five quarters so to make five quarters I just need to pull out one more because I've got four quarters here or one hole and here is my fifth quarter. And now I just need to make three halves. Well here I've got two halves so to make three halves I just need to pull out one more. So it's easy to see here that this amount here is bigger, so three halves is bigger than this amount or five quarters. In fact you can see that three halves is actually 
this amount more. It's one quarter bigger than five quarters. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.